this over right here we have our terrain and let me actually expand our area and just slightly reposition again you remember we have it two different compute terrains what we needed we also can apply one more just before we're going to apply base colors and I'll do this after when we complete it so it's kind of look a little bit cleaner okay the next things what I want to do it is creating this work on the area a little bit nicer and what I was thinking because it's a rock it's maybe worth just to put it uh, fake stones around and control them how they will going up on the bottom so let's go to add terrain we'll go to displacement and we'll go to use the fake stone shaders so you'll notice we have it right here applied one but actually what I want to do I want to take this stone shader and actually bring a little bit after so right here I want to bring this before the reason is why because I want to be sure they apply correctly as a displacement after and like how I said we can always create another compute terrain and place it right here so it's help us with a properly create normalization the one thing to use in so many of them it is will slow down original render because it's need process additional math additional calculations so uh, don't go crazy sometimes try to keep it as minimum as you can again I'm doing this for the purpose of tutorials so we can see what kind of effect it will apply okay right here we have a fake stones um, if we open let's modify them so for the just to see I will going crazy and I will it'll um, pop up a quite bit size on them so we can preview okay let's go set tolerance two two so we'll have a lot of rocks the next actually what I want to do I want mask these rocks to specific area and we can go to do two things one actually I want to take simple shader I'll create new one Okay, right here we and we'll take this simple shader and little bit decrease so let's say 5,000 by 5,000 meters okay let me zoom out kind of actually right here you can see maybe it's too big let's go to 3,000 by 3,000 I think yes that will be work just a little bit better maybe even smaller depend actually because water okay right here next um, probably a edge just pop up a little bit just move right this end okay next I want them um, constrain so it doesn't go over my mountain so I'm going to just take two of these surface layer create another one and we'll just go connect here connect to our surface and we'll go open and altitude constrain actually I want the maximum limited so I want to go set maximum maybe around um, 50 and let's say as in is about maybe 50 as well okay in some case we need actually rework some of in size so we have a little bit better look okay let's go open here we'll go to this okay that look okay let's go to actually size and maybe increase this by 3000 so we'll have it more rocks kind of covering this area okay let's go also in altitude constrain 
and bring this to 100. So we'll bring a little bit higher. Okay, next, actually, I placed right there, but what I want to do it is change a little bit so it will go just before our rocks. Okay, I'm going to render and preview, see how it's applied so far. Okay, so right here, I'll notice how it still does not apply properly, so let's fix this. And one thing when we doing, we actually take our rocks and I want to actually move them away into the shaders for a couple reasons. The one, because we will going and apply to the colors on this. So it's kind of will help us to create. So let's go to fix stones right here and we'll just apply move them in a color so we still have our displacement applied but in this case we also can modify a little bit with a coloring okay let's go open our stones and I also want to just create a little bit crazy going over Let's go remove the mask for now so you can see where the rocks and you can see right here how they're applied all over places. So overall, sometimes you want to reduce masking so we can see how rocks and where they're going. Okay, let's go tallness to reduce to 4, density, stone scale to 10, just overall so we know where they're going. maybe drop down density to two five let's go in the shape just overall a little bit reduce okay and now we can apply masking for this again if you interested you can always enable and preview colors where they lay out sometimes they can show it instantly if it's um, going on a wrong places maximum I think this is about right maybe pop up just leave it higher right here okay and we'll just go in shape and reduce because edge wide it's probably too wide for this so right here you can see when we start applying so it's kind of come a little bit closer to this area right here okay so we'll we covering this effect right this edge let me go check a couple more things okay we said properly okay I want to go be sure the altitude constraint maybe you know maybe even pop up to 200 Oops, a little bit too much so it will go a little bit higher right in this edge. So I want I want to create kind of more interesting effect. Okay, and let's go pop up density maybe down to two. Okay, scale five should be okay. And let's create maybe two point five right here. Flatness. Okay, let's review. Okay, so right here as a render, I can see this lot of rocks just overall placement so for me it's just needed to see overall how the placement and I do like it how it's look so we can start working except the need rework quite a bit on the shape of this so we'll go to back to our stones and right here actually I'm going to reduce quite a bit on the um, density we also pop up scale down and rework tallness and so we'll reduce a quite bit 0 0.8 actually it's what I wanted 0.8 so we'll reduce quite a bit on this um, our rocks overall I just want to create this kind of around and we'll keep it them a little bit lighter than all because they need to represent some 
a little bit salt kind of maybe um, deposits, corals kind of. So we can um, work also a little bit on a coloring, kind of adjusting at this time. Okay, let me go ahead and zoom a little bit out so we can overview and render our scenery. Okay, so right here we have a little bit rough shapes. Um, the next part of tutorial I'm going to actually tweaking to apply some roughness to this, work a little bit on this edge more, but Overall, here's our general shape um, and some general distribution with masking. So let's go ahead and next tutorial, how I said before, tweaking a little bit more with distributions and maybe start working on material placements.